is that uh, the international climate negotiations under the uh, UN umbrella is just one um, one aspect of the global climate policy um, that it may be able to collect a number of uh, policies taking place all over the world. But um, I think our main message was that focus on what's happening domestically in many key countries. We just saw a few weeks ago where the US and China made a, an announcement on their future emissions. Uh, I think that is very an important sign that those kind of agreements are being made also outside the UN, um, UN system. Uh, but, but also that um, the, the carbon markets developing all over the world. We've got the European Union trading scheme, of course. We also got trading schemes in the United States and now also within China um, that will develop over the, the coming years. And I, I see that being the most promising policy development uh, regarding climate change in the world right now. The possibility to, to link them together. I think that it has been uh, crucial for the developments that we've seen in the, the past few weeks where, where major emitters have announced their uh, emission reduction because um, if one look at the uh, you know, two time two matrix where you've got your uh, risks for climate change and that has been addressed uh, in the IPPC reports and in many domestic uh, reports within the US, within China uh, that they see there, there are risks from climate change, but the abatement cost is of course another important aspect. And I think that in both US and China, uh, we've seen reduced costs for uh, reducing emissions with the, with the reduced cost of solar, wind, energy. And I think that is, a, that is a development that we will see also in the future, that when um, costs for renewable energy reduces, then we will also see an increased chance of countries making their domestic uh, pledges uh, reducing climate.